So I know there's a lot of solo queuers out there no matter what game you're playing. No matter your circumstance, in this video, I'm gonna try my absolute hardest to help you guys try to get better at this game. A lot of the tips are gonna be generalized and basic. So with that being said, let's get into the first couple of tips. The first tip that I'm gonna give you guys is be the backbone of your team be what your team needs you to be. So for an example, let's say you're looking at your team comp. Let's say there's already two duelists. Are you going to pick another duelist? Absolutely not. Do not do that. Listen, I don't care what character you have fun on. If you really want to win, you have to be what your team needs. And sometimes you're going to have to be a controller. Sometimes you have to be an initiator. Sometimes you need to be something that your team needs you to be. I know it sucks being forced into a role that you don't even play or you don't want to play, but sometimes you have to learn how to play other roles in order to actually win games. Do you think good play players and pro players and all that only know how to play one character absolutely not they know how to play the entire roster and eventually you'll be you'll be able to learn the entire roster on an advanced level but for now at least try to learn two characters at a time and eventually you'll be able to learn the entire roster with more time i know valorant on console has not been out for that long so please give yourself more time also when you learn more characters you learn how to not only counter them but you also learn you know you have more options in your arsenal i guess to outplay or win rounds and all that other stuff so learning more characters is definitely the most important thing in this entire video and i genuinely mean that there's so many people that only play like one character and you're putting yourself at a huge disadvantage the next thing i want to say is please try to communicate with your team as a solo you basically only really have yourself and there will be games where you literally only have yourself because your team will never talk a lot of people in this game so far that i've come across have actually spoke maybe it's because of the rank that i'm in or maybe it's just because people like to speak in this game but what Whatever it is, try your absolute hardest to speak to people. I know people suck. I know it's scary to speak to people sometimes. A lot of people nowadays have social anxiety and stuff. I get it, whatever. But try your absolute hardest to speak. If you actually want to win, you have to talk. There's a reason why people that are in the pro scene, there's reasons why people that are good at this game always communicate. Now listen, there's going to be times where you're winning games and your team is talking about Chick-fil-A and Burger King. There's going to be times where your team is, you know, messing around in voice chat and, you know, screaming and yelling and doing dumb stuff and you guys are still winning the game or you guys are losing the game. I understand it, but whatever is happening, at least try to communicate what you're personally doing, even if your team can't hear you. I'm not saying you have to be an IGL, but I am saying that you should at least try to say what you're doing and where people are and with that being said i do want to say that if you are going to learn how to do more call outs and stuff for your team please look at the mini map and please just click on the map. This is going to show you what things are called on what map. Even if your team doesn't know the callouts themselves, you can at least ping it and say, hey, Neon over there, like over to the left or Reyna behind you or, you know, Chamber uh, to the right down, you know, down the hall and, and stuff like that. Like just try to say something you know a bad call is worse than no call out at all i rather you guys say something that's incorrect because at least you tried rather than just sit there and watch your teammates run around aimlessly not doing anything you know this is going to help you try to you know this is going to help you win games like the chance of you winning games by just calming is it is increased by a lot another really important tip that i want to give you guys is learn what weapons are good and when they're actually usable learn how to use a bulldog a guardian a phantom a vandal learn how to use every gun in this game to its maximum potential every gun in this game is usable even the frenzy even the frenzy um but i do want to say we're in a con we're in a state right now where uh you don't really want to use things like the sheriff or the guardian sometimes depending on if the enemy team has an iso because iso can literally just tank everything in this game so if you see an iso on the enemy team this is the biggest tip for now until they change him just use an smg or and an automatic weapon trust me it's gonna help you so much more than if you use a sheriff or guardian even though those sheriff and guardian is two of the most powerful weapons in the game just just don't do it don't put yourself through that much pain just use something else so this advice is my favorite advice that i love to give to people and it's basically learn why you lost a game and why you're currently losing a game if you can identify the problem and stopping it from happening the next time or at least trying to stop it from happening the next time then you're learning and even if you're losing you technically are winning in that way in that sense of form because at least you know what to do for an example i've lost so many games because my teammates do not know how to rotate and if also if you guys don't know how to rotate and stuff like that i'll link a video down in the description down below that goes in way more depth and detail about how to do that so yeah i'm not gonna do it myself because it's it's a little in depth but basically i'm just gonna give you guys the video that's can do it better than me but i've lost so many games to people 
not being able to rotate, people rotating way too early, people not smoking correctly, people not pushing, you know, like I've lost so many games to multiple different situations. So if you can at least identify the issue, then you can at least talk to your team about why it's happening and how we stop it and so on and so forth. Like, hey guys, maybe we shouldn't push the site. There's a cipher or hey guys, please smoke top left and bottom right. Or hey guys, like if I wanna, when I smoke, like actually push in there. like. There's so many reasons on why you're losing a game. It's not just because your teammates are dying. It's not just because you guys are not planning the bomb. Like there's a lot more that goes on and that you just physically can't see, you know? So just try to figure what out, you know, just, just figure out why you guys are losing. So the last tip that I want to give you guys is if you guys want to rank up a lot more, please look at your mini map. The mini map is extremely important. You can either bring up the big map and look at what's going on if there's nothing really happening on your side, or you can just glance at the mini map once in a while. The mini map is super important because it shows you what angles your teammates are holding, what utilities being used, where people are, what they're doing. It shows you where enemies could possibly be. It shows you where enemies actually are. The mini map is extremely great. It's one of the best um, things ever especially if a so, like if you're a solo because you need as much information as you possibly can if you want to win these games as a solo. To be honest with you, that's really all I wanted to say in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed everything that I talked about, everything that I went over, and hopefully you learned something in this video. But that's really all I wanted to say, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.